A phone company charges for service according to the formula C of n equals 27 plus 0.08 n, where n is the number of minutes talked and C of n is the monthly charge in dollars. We're asked to find the slope, the slope's units, and the vertical intercept. In general, when we have an equation in sloped intercept form with the form of y equals mx plus b, m, the coefficient of x is equal to the slope, which represents the constant rate of change, and b, the constant term, is equal to the vertical intercept, which represents the initial value. In our case, because we have c of n, a function of n, the slope is going to be equal to the coefficient of n, not the coefficient of x. So notice here the slope m is equal to 0 0.08, and b, the constant term, is equal to 27. So by analyzing our function, we can quickly determine, again, the slope m is equal to 0 0.08, and b, the vertical intercept, is equal to 27. So for the first part of this question, the slope of this equation is 0 0.08. And now to better understand what the slope means, let's include the units of the slope, which will help us answer the second part. In general, the slope is equal to the change in the outputs divided by the change in the inputs. In our case, notice how the outputs are C of n, which is the monthly charge in dollars, and the inputs are n, which equal the number of minutes talked, which means the slope is equal to the change in the monthly charge in dollars divided by the change in the minutes talked. So going back to the slope, which we know is 0 0.08, let's write this as a fraction with the denominator of one. So we'd have m equals 0 0.08 divided by one, where the units in the numerator would be the monthly charge in dollars, so this is dollars, and the denominator represents the change in minutes talked, so this would be one minute. So the slope, which represents the constant rate of change, is 0 0.08 dollars or eight cents per minute, often written as 0 0.08 dollars per minute, which again represents the constant rate of change. Each additional minute costs an additional 0 0.08 dollars or eight cents. So for the second part, the slope's units are dollars per minute. And then finally, we're asked to determine the vertical intercept, which is b, and we are determined b equals 27. So if b equals 27, this would be the ordered pair 0 comma 27, which means if you talk zero minutes, the cost is still going to be $27, and that's why the vertical intercept is often referred to as the initial or starting value. And notice how there are two ways to express the vertical intercept. In this case, we can say the vertical intercept is 27, but sometimes you are asked to express the vertical intercept as an ordered pair, which would be the ordered pair zero comma 27. I hope you found this helpful.